On January 11th, the scientific journal Nature published a study that significantly reshaped our understanding of the origins of one of the most recognizable dinosaur genera. This paper introduces a newly described giant theropod, a species closely related to the legendary T. rex. Meet the brand new Tyrannosaurus mecriensis. The discovery originated from a partial fossilized skull excavated in 1983 from the Hall Lake Formation in New Mexico. This holotype, currently displayed at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science, is about 25% complete, with a substantial portion of the brain case and upper jaws missing. It consists of only two cranial elements, the right postorbital and squamosal, as well as several mandibular elements, including fragments of the upper and lower jaw. Initially, these fragments were attributed to Tyrannosaurus rex. Yet in 2013, when paleontologist Sebastian Dahlman began his analysis of the fossils, he identified subtle distinctions that set them apart from typical T. rex specimens. However, these distinctions were not only subtle, but also consistent. After the research team analyzed the bones, they found that each bone was slightly different from its T. rex counterpart. Notably, the fossils lacked brow ridges, a feature that T. rex likely used for recognizing other members of their species. The most prominent difference, however, lies in the shape of the lower jaw, which appears more slender compared to the robust, bone-crushing jaws of its cousin. Furthermore, these remains were unearthed in a location far from Montana, Wyoming, or South Dakota, where the majority of T. rex bones have been discovered. This led scientists to conclude that the skull represented a new species, which they named Tyrannosaurus mecriensis, in honor of the McRae formation where it was found. This discovery also sheds light on the origin of the Tyrannosaurus lineage. Tyrannosaurus rex first appeared in North America around 68 million years ago. However, the dating of Tyrannosaurus mecriensis fossils revealed that it predates its cousin by about 5 to 7 million years, living between 71 and 73 million years ago. This suggests that the Tyrannosaurus genus was present in North America much earlier than paleontologists had thought. The emergence of Tyrannosaurus rex during the Maastrichtian has long intrigued scientists, particularly because of the absence of closely related species in North America from that period. Until now, the closest relatives of Tyrannosaurus, such as Tarbosaurus and Zhucheng Tyrannus, were found in Mongolia, leading to the hypothesis that the genus migrated from Asia to North America via a land bridge. However, this recent study points to the possibility that the Tyrannosaurus genus might have originated on Laramidia, an ancient island continent that extended from what is now Alaska to Mexico and then spread north alongside other giant dinosaurs such as ceratopsians or hadrosaurs. Like many other recent studies concerning the Tyrannosaurus genus, this one has also met with some skepticism. Paleontologists such as Thomas Carr from Carthage College in Wisconsin, known for his extensive research on variation within T. rex specimens, remain unconvinced by the findings arguing that the observed differences could simply be cases of individual variation within the species. It is hoped that future research, involving more detailed studies on additional specimens, will provide further clarity and enhance the credibility of these findings, thereby making the discovery more convincing. 